Hello guys, how are you? My name is João Gilberti uh, this is the channel Exotizando Aulas from Brazil and today I'm going to present you the IMO 2020 uh, problem 1, which is a geometry problem. I'm 14 years old and I'm going to present you the solution of this, this problem of geometry, which is about concurrence of three lines on the same point. So, uh, here we go to the question and to the problem. But first, uh, I'm going to talk to you about uh, a property of the circumcenter of the triangles. So, let's go to the another part of the, the, the board. Hey guys, I'm here again to talk to you about a property of the circumcenter of a triangle. I'm going to talk about a triangle ABC on a plane, and any triangle can be ABC, ABC can be any triangle, with a circumcenter O and a circumcircle named alpha. So let's talk about it. Uh, if you just have a compass and a scale, how can you draw the certain circle of a triangle? That's easy. Um, you, you can prove it, but I'm not going to do this on this video. Uh, that a property of this triangle that, sa that says that um, if ABC is a triangle, its circumcenter is the median of the three perpendicular bisectors of the three sides. So that tells us that the perpendicular bisector of the side AB, the perpendicular bisector of the side BC, and the perpendicular bisector of the side AC meet on the same point, which is the center of the circumcircle of the triangle ABC. So here uh, I have an example of what is a perpendicular bisector. Uh, it is actually a line on the plane uh, that has the property that cuts a segment AB on the middle point of it, forming a 90 degrees angle with the, the segment. So that's it, let's, let's go back to the question. Hey guys, I'm back here to talk to you about the statement of the problem. Uh, the statement of the problem, uh, I don't remember it properly uh, in the exact words, and it's going to be appearing for you in the, in the screen. And you have seen uh, a lemma that we used, uh, that we, we will use on this question, that is that every, every chord in the circumference, uh, every, co every chord in the circumference, if you, if you make its perpendicular bisector, it will pass through the center because of the constriction of the, the triangle the any triangle ABC that I talked uh, to you before. So here we're going to use this fact on the question. Let me just talk, talk to you about uh, what is about the question, uh, what the question is about. Uh, it, it says like, let ABC, ABCD be, be a convex quadrilateral in the plane, and let P be, be a point uh, in, on its interior that have such, such, proportions like the angle PAC should measure something and the angle PBA should measure two times the something, I call it theta, and PBA it's like two theta, PBD it's like alpha, and PAB it's like two alpha. Uh, CPA it's called three theta, and B DPB, it's called 3 alpha. So then I'm going to talk to you about this question and solve it uh, because I'm very, I'm very, I'm very interested in questions about the IMO and I love this type of questions and yeah, I'm so excited. So let's go. Uh, to, to solve it, uh, I actually drawn the circumcircle of the triangle APB, the triangle APB. Uh, and I'm going to prove some things. Ah, and the goal, we have the goal to prove that the, uh, the bisector of the angle PCA, the bisector of the angle PDB, and uh, the perpendicular bisector of the segment AB uh, concur on the same point and that I called O on this question. And O is because it's the center of the circumference and I'm going to prove it to you. Firstly, I draw it and I draw it 
and uh, I called the point R uh, being the intersection between the circumference, the circumcircle of the triangle APB, and the side AC, and the circumcircle, uh, the intersection between the circumcircle and the side BD is called S. Uh, so let me make some some measures there that, that will help us to solve this question. So let me see something, some, let me note some things uh, very interesting here. Like this is the bisector, this is the bisector, and we're, try, uh, we're going to prove that the triangles BD, PDS and the triangle PCR are actually isosceles and they, and they bring and it will bring some, some benefits to solve the question. For this, uh, you will see something. I'm going to share with you some things that are very nice. Like, um, if you see this angle is alpha, and this, this arc measures actually two times alpha. And if we, if we note, we can, we can see that the quadrilateral uh, RPBA is is actually cyclic because uh, there are four points in it that lies on the same circumference. Then I'm going to draw its diagonal to help us solve the question. Uh, if I, uh, after drawing this diagonal, you should notice that this angle actually me uh, measures theta because this angle theta looks at the arc RP uh, and this other angle looks at the arc RP. So if this one is theta, this other one is theta 2 because it's 2 theta minus theta here. And the same thing, um, it's to, the, to this angle, but I'm not, I'm not showing it to, to then pollute what the, the image and the figure. And I'm going to show something, some other things to you to conclude that this triangle is isosceles. Um, if you see, if this angle is theta, this arc measures two times theta. This arc measures two times theta. And if this arc measures two times theta, this angle here is actually theta. And it looks, to, because it's, it looks for, to this arc. Uh, if this, is, this here is theta, this other one here is, two th is three theta minus theta, which is actually two times theta. Uh, you're, you're seeing how things are going and how everything makes sense. Here's 2 theta. Here, if you see, it's going to be 2 times alpha because actually this, this arc, uh, 2 alpha, 2 times alpha, it's looking to this arc. And here we have this other angle looking to this arc 2, the arc PB. Uh, so that's why this angle here is 2 times alpha. If this is 2 times alpha, this other angle here, if you see, it's the same angle as, the, uh, as this one. It's the same angle as this one because they look at the same arc. And if you see, this angle here that I'm painting, I'm going to put it here, it's actually 180 degrees minus 2 times alpha minus 2 times beta, uh, beta is not theta, 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 I'm sorry. Um, and the other thing you should notice is that this one is exactly the same of this, so that's why if you make the counts, actually uh, this tree sum up to 180 degrees, so this arc here should measure two times theta. And here, this we showed that this one is an isosceles triangle. This one is an isosceles triangle for the same reasons the triangle PSD is an isosceles 2. For the same reasons, you can prove it at home. And we will show some things. If this, this line, this line CO, is the bisector, and it passes through the, through the midpoint of the segment RP, the segment RP, it passes through the midpoint of it, and it's actually the perpendicular bisector of this segment. And look, RP, RP is a chord. Is a chord. If RP is a chord, we have some things to notice. 
uh, if this is a chord of the circumference, we have like this being the perpendicular bisector. And we showed in our latest Lima, uh, we showed us, we showed that actually uh, every perpendicular bisector passes through the through the center of the circumference uh, on a chord on a simple chord of it. So uh, for these reasons, if RP is a chord and the line the line the bisector of the angle PCA um, passes through the midpoint of it and forms 90 degrees, it passes through the center. For the same for the same reason, uh, CO is bisector it's bisector uh, for the same reasons p uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit ugly this but for the same reasons ps is a chord and that's why uh, what happens is that do do is a bisector is bisector like this in here. So if we have these two statements, we know that they 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 go here in the circumcenter, and uh, and the perpendicular bisector of the segment AB uh, should pass through the center because that's how we create an uh, a a circumcenter of the triangle. That's why like when we want to to find the circumcenter of any triangle ABC. We should draw. We should draw all the all the perpendicular bisectors of the triangle, and they and then they meet at the same point. And this point is the the is the is the, the circumcenter of the the triangle, the triangle that's here. So yeah, I think that's it. The video. Uh, I think I already solved it, and I explained to you. I was speaking. But on the test, you should have to write. And here is a point O, which is the center of the circumference. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until uh, the next one, goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe on the channel. Give a like on the video. Bye-bye.